Hi guys, Jangro here, and welcome to this first look at the Bliss Mod Pack. We're going to do a getting started. We're going to do a little bit of a gameplay, and while we do, we're going to talk about what this mod is and what it's all about. Learn about it, see if it is interesting to you. Maybe you want to play it, maybe you want to play it with some friends. So let's get started and just jump right in. Now before we go anywhere, let's just take a look around. This is a beautiful mod pack. It has shaders built in. It's got complementary shaders, kind of a customized complementary shaders, version 4.5. And you don't even need to install Optifine and, and shaders. It just comes built in, which is amazing. Second thing you might notice is that there's the music that's playing is pretty cool. This mod pack has like a soundtrack. So as you move from into different biomes, they have different music that plays with them. Uh, different circumstances in the game, perhaps, plays some different music, like if you're in a cave or underwater. So that's pretty cool. Uh, before we move too far out of the spot, let's first take a look at what we have available to learn the game. If you open up your inventory, there's a book here. And you see it's got a red exclamation point. That means there, that there is some new entries in there. And there's a couple sections here. The ropes kind of teaches you about the game. It's an intro to JEI, which is Just Enough Items, which is the kind of inventory management system. We'll take a look at that in a second. And there's a starter kit. So you can search in JEI for starter kit and see some cool early game items. Now, an important thing about this pack is that, and why it's called Bliss, because it is peaceful-like in that mobs are hostile, but they don't attack unless you attack them first. So they won't spawn in any blocks with direct view to the sky. They don't grief your world. Creepers and endermen won't grief. Um, and there's you know a bunch of other small changes. Spiders don't spawn. Uh, this mod pack is focused on accessibility and making things nice and calm and easy. And we'll talk about that a bit too as we start to um, explore. And we'll talk about this mod pack a little bit. But let's look at JEI. If we open up our inventory again, over here on the right, this is JEI. And the way this works is you can search for anything. And we'll search for starter kit. And you can see some interesting things that we can craft that are not vanilla mostly trading post a wrench backpack soul compass i'm not sure what that does a pickering which allows you to mine from a distance a sawmill which is like a stone cutter but for wood rope an atlas there's no map in this game so the atlas is a good way to organize regular vanilla maps which is really which is really pretty cool an abacus i don't know what that's going to do so these are going to be some of the early things that we're going to want to make and find. So we'll keep those in mind. I think the first thing I want to go for is a backpack. And once we click on an item, we with left click on an item, we can see what we need to make it. So we need some leather and some iron. And we get 27 more inventory slots with that. The other thing about JEI is you can also see what you can make with items by right clicking on something. So if I right click on leather, I can see all the things that I can make with leather. I can also see if I left click on leather, I can see how to craft leather. And there's a recipe here to make leather out of rotten flesh. So um, and we can and we can kind of harvest it from leather items as well. So there's lots of ways to get leather that don't involve killing animals. So another small detail about this mod pack it you know if you're the type of person who doesn't like to kill animals you don't have to so here we have a signpost which means we, there's some structure 300 blocks that way and exactly in the opposite direction a thousand blocks that way is another structure probably a village but we'll have to we'll have to go see and find out something i saw up there that's really cool is like ice caves up there those are like ice stalagmites i guess icicles okay well let's head over 300 blocks in this direction and see what's here that's a deep cave wow 
And let's talk a bit about this mod pack. Like I said, the focus of this mod pack is accessibility. And there's a number of meanings for that. One is just to make it easy to get into modded Minecraft. It's not a heavy mod pack, so it'll run on lesser computers. And we'll grab this corn. So if you have a computer that can't run a lot of mod, mod packs, it's a good chance that this will work on it. There's only about 100 mods in here. There just aren't a lot of content mods. Big tech. I'll try not to talk while I'm making these loud noises. Okay, there's our village. So there's not a lot of tech and magic mods in here that are overwhelming to people. So, you know, if you've got friends and family who are reluctant to get into modded Minecraft, this might be a great way to introduce them. I mean, it's gorgeous. Who wouldn't love this? More on the accessibility, in addition to just making it more access, modded Minecraft more accessible, it's also making Minecraft more accessible. It allows, it has support for controllers, Xbox controllers. So if you if you are uh, mobility impaired and need to use a controller um, instead of a keyboard and mouse, you can do so in this mod in this mod pack. And it also has like like we saw before in the book some of the kind of jump scare or scarier mob mobs disabled like spiders and uh, I think elder guardians which give a jump scare to some people those are disabled so it's just a friendlier mod pack and again mobs don't attack unless you provoke them let's go see what this village has for us so it's a very vanilla experience which makes it makes immersion a little bit easier for folks who maybe have not spent a lot of time in modded Minecraft. As far as mods that are in here, there is biomes are plenty. Let's turn down these sounds a little bit. Just turn the whole volume down. What sound is that? Must be players. Huh. I don't know why that's still loud. So let's go biomes of plenty. That was, you know, that was like a lavender biome that we spawned in. That's from biomes of plenty. These giant mountains, I think, are all vanilla, but we'll see a lot. Oh, those big tall trees over there, those are like a redwood forest or something. Let's set our spawn point. So early on in this game, it's going to be, again, it's going to be very vanilla. If we take a look in our book over here, there's also this kind of quest book, Lissa. Lissa, this is her, and she's a guide, uh, kind of an NPC that's going to come pop up in the game, give us some guidance on what to do next. So, so far, everything's locked. But as we go through the game, these things are going to get unlocked. And there's all sorts of entries here that we're going to be able to unlock, and it'll teach us about the game. And then there's the thing about vanilla changes. So there's a number of things. These mostly come from the Quark mod, which is designed by the same um, developer that makes this mod pack, Basky, and um, Violet Moon modding. So we can look through these things. Elytra gets a boost over campfires. Chains move things with pistons. Compass works in the nether. We can... Put custom bedspreads with banners, dispensers, place blocks, all sorts of stuff. Right, right clicking with a hoe harvests and keeps the seeds. Ladders, we can, I think, move, place things drop down. 
map decorations we can put beacons and things inside of our maps so the map is going to be very vanilla there's no uh, mini maps or world maps so we're gonna have to use vanilla maps but there is an atlas that we can use to put maps in a book that's gonna make that a little bit easier all these things lots of cool stuff but you know just subtle vanilla plus things so what else have we got for for mods in here uh we've got farmer's delight so we're going to want to make a cooking a stove and a, a cooking pot pretty soon that will allow us to do some pretty cool stuff uh make some food there's immersive weathering which is a really neat mod it, it makes it so that the world is more dynamic so we we harvest or break grass on block it'll grow back um, it also causes iron to rust all sorts of stuff like that uh, there's farmer's delight as i mentioned plus some add-ons to farmer's delight like farmer's respite and corn delight overweight farming is in this pack which you have it when you're growing crops sometimes you have a chance of getting an overweight crop that is going to be uh like a gigantic beat that when you when you break it it gives you a whole bunch of beats let's head let's head back to that sign and see i mean that that was a thousand blocks away. That's a long way. Let's do this. Let's break a tree, get ourselves some tools, and make a boat. And head off and see what we can find. I think the, the most important thing in this mod pack early on is to just explore and find some of the things that are available to us before we settle down. We don't have to worry about sleeping at night because mobs are harmless. So I'll put this crafting table down, make some tools. A pickaxe and an ax. Just start with a couple of those and a boat. And we've got some food. Got some pretty decent amount of food. So it will be okay for a little while. Let's break this. Let's plant a few trees here. Be good neighbors. So I think the first thing I'm going to want to do is to find a place to settle down, first of all, and then we'll get going with uh, Farmer's Del Delight and then see what Lissa tells us to do. So we'll head down here to the dock, put our boat in the water. Let's take a look at our coordinates here. Minus 230, positive 135. And what direction is this? Okay, so I think we're going west. This is west. You can hear the music change as we move into different areas. Some of those big trees, big redwoods, I guess. Let's just enjoy for a minute. All right. This is a 
think it's called a wild tower. Pretty, pretty neat at night. Skeleton here. We don't have to worry about him at all. And a zombie. Let's take our boat. So, no problem. Hi, guys. If we did hit them, they'd attack back, though. Unlike peaceful mode. Okay, now getting up this tower is a bit of a challenge. There's a mod in here, I think, called Wall Jump. That if you crouch and when you jump against a wall, you can see I'm sliding down here. I'm holding the shift key as I jump into the wall. And I can use this. And you can you can jump. You can use this to climb up a couple of blocks. So let's break this tree here and I'll demonstrate that. It's kind of tricky, but it's a pretty good thing to learn how to use. Okay, so I can get up on top of this two block high thing by jumping and shift and then jumping again. And you just got to practice that. I mean, I can't even describe, but I'm just using the shift to grab the wall. And before I fall, I hit shift again and I jump up. And that's how I'm going to get up this tower because these ladders, they don't. They don't go all the way to the top. Let's grab some ladders too before we head up. Maybe we can just place ladders to get up. But I can, so I can use that technique by kind of moving forward and jumping and spamming shift. And I just, see I just get up here and I do it again. And I, I'm not using the ladders so much as using this jump shift technique. I can kind of get in in here. So it's kind of janky, but it's it's a way to climb up something that when there's two when there's not just nice easy stairways up. Now if this tower reminds you of something like the Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda. That's because it's, I think it's kind of intended to. And that becomes even more clear when we get to the top. And this like wall jump thing reminds me of Link and how he climbs walls in that game, if you've played it. So it's definitely some nods to Breath of the Wild with this. And it's Breath of the Wild is kind of the same kind of model where, you know, it's just focused on adventuring. Okay, we're there. We we didn't need to build ladders. We made our way up. And this is very Breath of the Wild up here. So up here is a couple things. Top of every tower is a waystone. You right click to set it. And if you right click on it, every one is going to have its own destination and we're going to be able to go between towers as soon as we activate other towers. Now be careful, you don't want to break this waystone because it's not breakable. It'll be gone. Unlike other mod packs that have these waystones in it, you cannot break these. So they're stuck to the tower. But that's kind of neat. You can, you know, if you settle down to your tower, that can be your home and then you can move around the world and find more. In here, we've got a paraglider plus a map and some stuff. Let's activate this map and see what's around us. And that's it. That's it. all we have at the top of these towers. And it's probably a good idea to build the ladders up because that that jumping technique is, is not really easy. So we take a paraglider and all we have to do is hold it and jump leap of faith here and you're going to glide 
Let's look at our map again. And let's head down to the south. Let's see what we find. We'll continue south. Well, I think we came from the east. Right? We came from over there. East and south is that way. So we'll move we'll go south from here. So our village is west of here. Hold the paraglider and jump. And it just automatically deploys. And very Breath of the Wild, right? Very cool. Let's see how far we can get. Unlike Elytra, it does not help to kind of point down. So you just want to keep pressing the move forward key to get the maximum distance from up there. But we can use this for a mountaintops or anything. All right, let's throw a boat in the water and let's just keep going south. Well, we've always got that tower there now. We find another tower we can go back and forth. I want to find one of those towers to settle in next to. Hopefully it would be next to a village. What is this? Okay, this is one of Young's bridges. So there's several Young's mods in here. Young's better mine shafts, Young's better strongholds. I don't think there's really anything to get in that structure. It's just a cool broken down bridge. Young's bridges, Young's extras. Let's head into the land here. Because why not? Let's see if we can find a good place to settle down. Hummus. Hummus is from Immersive Weathering. There's a cool, like, blue-colored biome over here. Let's go check that out. Dark forest. Dark forests aren't scary anymore. I just can't get over how peaceful this whole thing is. I guess that's why they call it bliss. Where are these things? Magic logs? Let's Let's get some magic logs.
four leaf clovers. Okay, we do need to eventually make a bed. So let's get some wool and we also need some need six leather for a backpack. What's this? Got a sign. Excellent. Got a signpost here. Which tells us that there is something just 600 blocks that way. Down through this little valley. Let's take our boat. What are these trees? Redwood. So anytime we should come across a structure over here. Did I get my boat? There it is. See a village, I think. And there's some cows. This looks like a nice place. Lots of trees. Oak. Which I prefer. And some leather right here walking around. And is that another village? And with a signpost. Heaty blocks. Okay, that's this one. It would be great if there was a tower around here. Nothing new in our book yet. Oops. Set our spawn. That's a lot of villagers hanging out. On the hill, there's a house. No chests in these houses. Hmm. All right, I think this is probably a pretty good place to settle in. And I hope this gives you a good idea of what Bliss is all about. Again, very vanilla, very accessible, great introduction to modded Minecraft if you've got some friends and family like that. So that's going to do it for this first look at the Bliss mod pack. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gives you a good idea of what it's all about. If you like the video, please like it, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the Bliss mod pack. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.